Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to my part two of my 2020 whip parade. Um, this is basically everything that isn't full coverage. Um, I call it regular charts. And um, these will be part two. So um, we're just going to dive right in, continue from the first video. This one is Forest Snowfall from Country Cottage Needleworks. Very, very pretty, very soft. And I love that it's more winter than Christmas. It's not um, Christmas trees and decorated house. It's just very wintry and very soft and pretty. This is only a few of the called for, which is basically the DMC. All of the overdyes and everything are um, just, I did a stash dive and I went into floss from stash and I found what I thought looked good and um, what would lend itself to the feel of the chart. And this is where I am. This is stitched on 16 count Dove Gray Ada from Charles Craft. And uh, it's really pretty. Uh, the house is a Victorian motto. Uh, the green is, I think, a classic color works. And then hickory sticks is the roof. I've got to finish the roof. It's sort of lopsided now. But um, the only problem I had with this because of the shade of this gray was the DMC B5200, I think is the white that they had put into this. And um, it was hard showing up, especially like when I did one of the snowflakes that are on the bottom, you can't really see them in the chart, but in between these, these flower things are snowflakes. And uh, it, it wasn't showing up, so I had a light bulb, and I took one strand of Ecru and one strand of DMC 3865, the winter white, I love that color, and I put them together, and it seems to give it enough depth and dimension that it shows up. Um, this was started on January 29th. Uh, Virtual Stitchers um, has started a year, it's for the whole year, every month for the whole year. And it is um, because this is leap year and we get an extra day in February. We start, you start a new project on the 29th. Some are doing it on the 20th because it's 2020. 20. And um, this is what I started on the 29th of January. I don't think I'm going to be doing one on. Um, the 29th of February simply because I started Christmas at Hawkrun Hollow um, the 10th of this month and I don't know if I want to start something new that day if I do it will probably be the Hands Across the Sea um, charity chart if I start something on the 29th but I'm undecided yet I'll probably decide that later in the week but this is where I am on this one. And this is a lot of fun. And next is, this is on a fabric that I hand dyed myself. I went down that rabbit hole and uh, decided to try the mad scientist and see what happened. And uh, I, uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, the modeling was perfect. And as soon as I saw it after it dried, I'm like, I know exactly what chart I'm gonna put on it. Um, this, is, this is what the modeling of it looks like. It, I love it, it's so perfect. I'm, I like modeling, but I don't like the start in your face, like slap you across the face modeling. I'm more of neutral, subtle. I like, but some things you need, um, you need a, 
a stronger variegation, but for this one, it, it's it's absolutely perfect. And this is this every time I see this chart, I giggle. It it's so cute and so funny. Again, it's a Jardin Privé. There's a theme here. Um, it's called Viva Mint Noel, and how can you not look at that and chuckle? It, the snow globe, and then you have Santa on the snow globe with a deer, reindeer on, with Rudolph on top of his head holding a Christmas tree. It's just a giggle. It's so, so cute. And um, I'm at just the bottom of the snow globe with this, um, the uh, fence and snowman and getting ready to move up into the the globe part of the snow globe but yeah this this is a cute cute fun fun one sometimes you just need you need the chuckle charts I call them the ones that you know are just um, you look at them and they just make you giggle they make you laugh and um, this one was one that I started for Mania last year. Um, Mania. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to participate in Mania. I don't know if I'm... I haven't thought about it yet. Um, if I do, I'm only going to maybe start one or two. No more than that, really. Maybe three, but it just all depends. If I do something in Mania, it's going to involve stuff I already have, and then one or two new starts added on. Like I said, I've got time. It's not even a thought right now. But um, if I do decide to do Mania, and I finally work something out in my brain, I'll, I'll do a video and discuss it and let you know what direction I'm going in. Um, but this one is ABC123 from Little House. This one is one of the very old ones. I think it's from 2009 or 2010. Uh, that's all DMC. No fancy floss at all in this one. And it's, it's really cute. And I'm pretty, pretty far on it. There's, there's not a lot left. There's finishing the house, the trees, and of course down here and stuff. These are good 30 minutes a day. Um, cross Stitch and Daily 30. That's what it started out as um, before it was a challenge group. It was a, um, it, you just pick a project and you stitch on it. You start at the beginning of the month and you stitch on it every day through the whole month. And either you finish it or you see quite a bit of progress on it. And it, it's, it's really fun to see the progress that you get on it um, at the end of the month when you do stitch on them. This one I don't have the picture for. I can't find the magazine. It's somewhere in my stack of stuff. Um, it, but it, it is in the 2019 Just Cross Stitch Halloween edition and uh, it's by Glendon Place, Cheryl Glenda and um, it's called Night Music. I looked on my tablet but I don't I don't have a, uh, a picture of it on there. I thought I did but I didn't. And uh, this is on either 14 or 16 count Ada that I hand dyed myself and this is where I am so far. It's there's a cat on a moon, and then you have a pretty border, and um, I just love the font. I think the font is fun, and uh, I needed this for, I actually started this for a challenge. I needed something with a moon, and I didn't feel like working on ones that I have with the moon that you'll see um, in a little bit, and uh, I needed something, I had to do orange, and I needed something with a cat, or bl no, black. I had to stitch on just black. A hundred stitches in orange, a hundred stitches in yellow, a hundred stitches in black. Yeah, it, the struggle is real. 
So that is that little one. And then the last little, little one. And then we have the last stack of big boys, um, our medium size ones. This one was a mania start last year too. Um, my mania starts last year were other than the Hade from that we spoke about in the first video. They were very small. They were either for magazines or small little, little shirts. And even that didn't succeed, so yeah. More on the fence about Mania this year. So this is Bringing Home the Tree from Little House Needleworks. I love these little um, ornament type charts. They're really, really cute and fun to stitch. And this is only a very small start right here, corner. Uh, this is on a fabric that I dyed myself. Again, I'm not sure if it's 14 or 16. It's it's one of them. Uh, I had just put the 14 and 16 together and didn't do them separately, so I have no idea what's what, but it's one of those. Okay, the next one is a surprise, surprise, grab the head. And this one is actually it is a part three of a three-part series and it is called sampler bouquet three and it's really pretty and really small and i had known that there were three parts to this and i had seen somebody do it in one of the facebook groups they did it but the way they did it i didn't like the layout and i'm like if that's the way the layout is going to be i'll just do it my own way and then piece it together I get this in the mail the beginning of January after the new year and this is what all three parts are supposed to look like yes please I am definitely gonna buy the other two parts and do it all in one long band sampler it's just really 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 pretty the colors the it's just really pretty um, but I'm still going to do this one and finish it because it's small. It's not great big. I'll either hang it in my bedroom, put it in the bathroom maybe, because um, a lot of these colors that are in this are in my bathroom. Um, I didn't take it out of the Q-snap because this is basically right here. <laughs> this is basically um, the beginning of the chart, so I haven't gotten any further with it, so I could leave it in the Q-snap and still show it off. This is on a 18 count antique white Ada. It's the other piece from um, Village Quaker that you saw in my first video that you'll see again in a few um, because I did take it out of the Q-snap because I'm ready to move it. And um, in fact, we'll do that one now because uh, I'm ready to move it and continue up. And uh, again, this is Village Quaker by Jardin Privé. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And um, when I'm done with this chart, it's going to take a little road trip to Indiana. And then it will take a road trip to another state because there's another name on the back of here that's going to go to somebody else. And uh, I love the paying it forward, if you will, uh, pass the stash. It's it's a wonderful thing. And I've had many charts passed to me uh, from the stash, through stash. Um, sorry, I just heard something. I didn't know if my cat was getting into trouble. And um, I firmly believe that you should pay it forward and pass the stash whenever you can. And I will I will do that quite often. So yes, my charts will be taking road trips to other places when they've done visiting me. So this is Village Quaker, where I am now. You couldn't see it the other day because like I said, it was in the queue snap, but I need to move it up because um, I'm ready to go into the second half. So I will be moving it, you know, probably 
like right here so I can have I won't have to move it for a while I'll be able to get a good section of the middle section um, stitched before I have to move it again so that one is that one Put that one there this one is special and it has a story behind it uh, I'm gonna share a little bit of the story excuse me I have to shift my back is not liking this chair um this is four seasons from little house needleworks and it has the verse on the bottom for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven that quote has been a part of my life since before i was born my father had painted along the top of my room that verse so that verse has been with me my whole life and as soon as i saw that it was a no-brainer it was like yep mm -hmm. you gotta get this and you gotta do this and i did not change any of the colors everything is the called for colors um it was that important that i felt i didn't want to change anything i picked the floss that it called for and uh this is on 28 count doubloon from picture this plus love doubloon this is the first doubloon i've stitched on and this is where i am so here we are first house is done i'm looking into the uh winter house the autumn house is done then the winter and then i gotta finish the border um the other flower pot uh, the words are all done there's no more words to this um but um yeah this is um it's special so when it's done i'm gonna get a really pretty frame and I'm gonna hang it in my bedroom because I've had this verse in one form or another in my room my entire life from my father doing the painting the wording in my room before I came home from the hospital before I was even born really and um, to you know having it on posters uh, right now, um, my mother had bought me, I forget how long ago it was, um, it was a wooden plaque she had somebody do, and it's where they did the burning and the etching of it in it, and that, that saying is on there um, with ivy vines around it. Um, I don't like moving it because it's kind of heavy. It's big. So, yeah, it's, it's a special quote, and it, it means a lot. So that was, that was a, uh, that was a given and a no brainer whatsoever. Next, let's go with this one. Uh, this one is, uh, you all see it, you all love it, is Farmhouse Christmas. Whoops. You did not see that. You did not see that. Shh. Um, is farmhouse Christmas I have all the charts the ones that I've done are not in here I've put them in the stash container uh, just so it's less confusing for me I know that the ones that are in here are the ones that I have to do um, the next one on the docket is Daisy Darlin hey how cute is she with her little wagon and her chicken friend and yeah, it's just gorgeous. I'm using all the called for except for one exception. Um, I am doing uh, DMC 3865 instead of bamboo. One, it's more cost effective for me anyway. And two, you don't really know the difference. You'll see it when I show what's previously been done. You can't tell the difference. So why not save a little bit? 
and uh, this is done on 16 count Ren by Picture This Plus. And this is the fabric. Oh, that's showing up really good. Yeah, this is a very pretty subtle modeling. Again, I love the subtle modeling to it. Um, I'm going to fold it so it's a little easier to maneuver. I'm still getting used to camera, camera, camera. Um, but there it is. And I am doing the free border that uh, Vana, the Twisted Stitcher, uh, excuse me, the Twisted Stitcher designed for it. Um, but in going with what I was saying before, this first block and the snowflake border on the block is bamboo. The snowflake border in the second one, um, right here, and all the snow and the snowflake borders in the two bottom blocks are DMC 3865. You cannot tell the difference. Cannot tell the difference. So that's where I am on this. And if this doesn't come out before, it will definitely be coming out in August um, because Layla, the novice stitcher, has chosen this chart for her birthday sale in virtual stitchers. And um, so she is going to start it brand new. And uh, so if it doesn't come out before August, it will definitely be coming out in August uh, to celebrate Layla's birthday. So there's that one. The next one is, and I have to pull this one up. Um, I have to pull this one up because it's a PDF and uh, I don't have I don't have a printer yet so I can't just spit out pictures but that's gonna change yes that's gonna change because it makes life so much easier and again I don't know how to edit yet so we're a work in progress. This is um, Librarian's House from Stone Street Stitchworks. I won this chart in 2018 uh, on Instagram. They were having a giveaway slash contest and you could pick any chart you wanted. I picked this one. My grandmother, my father's mother was a school teacher. So I just, I just thought it fit with her. And again, it goes into anything Quaker. Lots of lots of Quaker. So I just think it's gorgeous. Um, it only calls for DMC, but I did I did a thing. Um, I went and took all the DMC that it called for, and I have a ton of Victorian motto. I still have um, quite a bit of it, and. I decided to go through and match up what went, you know, as close as I could to the DMC, but it would have a subtle difference to it. So I picked two shades of each of the DMC colors. I think it takes eight or nine, maybe 10. It's, it's not a lot of floss, not a lot, but I, um, I found two shades of each color and I'm like, that will work. Let's try it. And it works. I'll just say that. Uh, this is 16 count uh, parchment from Zweigart. And uh, I have a thread here, so I have to keep. But this is where I am right now. And again, this is all of the call of the conversion to Victorian motto. And I just think it's gorgeous. The colors are beautiful. Um, they have a really nice vintage, um, old fashioned look to them, which I love. It's what I'm drawn to right now in stitching. I love the vintage, the old, what's old is new. That's the famous saying. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this. 
and uh, pretty much where the house is is I'm, once I get up I'm pretty much halfway through with this but this is this is a lot of fun it's really fun. I need to bring it out again all of these it's like I look at them and I'm like I need to stitch on them again and stitch on them again I have to learn balance I think um, let's do this one this one has a story too behind it um, I started this on October 4th for the last 24 hours of cross stitch marathon uh, Jen Lee her group uh, she does the marathons they're awesome they're fun um, so I started this one and I had been planning to start this one for a little while um, it's all floss from stash nothing called for except for DMC 310 and if I knew about the anchor before that I would have done anchor instead of DMC 310 but it is what it is I'm still happy with it and um, I just went through my stash looked at the picture picked out everything that worked um, I was originally gonna do it on uh, picture this plus haunted which the final one that we will talk about is picture this plus haunted but I changed in August September I was like okay I want to go a different route so I was looking at other fabrics and I came across this one so I ordered it in September so I would have it and everything would be ready for October 4th and this is the chart it is Halloween Quaker by Jardin Prevé I have um, it's either Christmas Quaker or holiday Quaker I think I have that one in my stash and uh, that one's probably going to be another um, complete conversion from stash. I'd like to get one of the uh, Victorian motto boxes of her collection. She has a Victorian Christmas collection that I love. And I think that would be a really nice bunch of floss to use for the holiday quicker of this one. Um, but again, I'm undecided on my fabric, excuse me, that I want to use. So that'll be a little bit. But this is it, and it is originally called for um, Picture This Plus Murky. Um, while I think it is a lovely fabric, and people love it, people stitch on it, and it is, things, some things look really gorgeous on it. Oranges and yellows just pop on Murky. It's not something. I would be happy stitching on I would enjoy stitching on it's just a little too starkly modeled for me and then I came across this fabric uh, someone was doing something in one of the groups on Facebook with this fabric and I was like "Ooh, that is nice let's do this one and um, I got it and I had to pull a couple of extra grays and I had to buy one um, fancy floss a darker shade of the gray that it called for it was called for slate so I had to go a hair or two darker than that and um, when I got it home I loved it 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 just reminded me when I saw it in person of a thunderstorm sky the sky that you get in a thunderstorm where you get the grays and the the sort of kind of sometimes you get blues and greens and the whites from the clouds that's what it reminded me of and this is this is what the modeling on it looks like and it, it instantly it was like it looks like a spooky thunderstorm sky very happy with it I love it and this is where I am now I'm gonna fold it in half just because it's a lot easier to manage and I've only done this half so there's not gonna be anything missing on it but this is where I am and this is all a conversion it is all trial and error um, I did have to uh, the, see this is the this is the, the color that I had to order and change this was supposed to be slate and it was just too close to the color of the fabric so I went with I, forget, I think it was granite or graphite or something like that um, and, and it 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 has worked out really well you can see it's got definition because there's no back stitch to, to differentiate between the stitched and the fabric 
So I wanted it to still be noticeable without being too off the wall. And again, it's used in um, this tree right here, the one under the big raven. So it, it, it does pop off the fabric and the same with the cat. I think the cat is the same color as that. It might be, yeah, or it might be a different color. But I, I'm happy, I love it. It's just, this was the first, besides the librarian's house, this was the first big one that I completely just converted on my own. Those two were the first that I felt, okay, I can do this. I can, I can take stuff and change it to um, what I like. And I didn't realize you could do that. When I learned in 1996, when I first started stitching, you stitch what they tell you to stitch on. Ada, DMC, you don't change colors, you don't do anything, you don't differentiate from what they tell you to do. And then I come back to stitching and everybody's like converting this, converting that, doing something different. Uh, you don't like the tree in the chart? Put another tree in the chart. It's um, I, it's a game changer. It's it, Like I said in the first video, I felt coming back after my mother passed away and I didn't stitch for a while, I felt like a completely new stitcher. Like I was learning all over again and I still am learning all kinds of things. Case in point, I can convert things and they look awesome. So yeah, this will this will be coming out again very soon. And put that away later. I'm not in the mood right now. And we are on to the last one. We are at the end, people. Yay, we have made it. And then I'll have a little conversation at the end of um, the video of, you know, what's going to happen after this video and things like that. Uh, this one is picture, this, um, the fabric is pictures, this but this is Tiny Modernist's uh, Haunted Mansion sow. This was uh, her Halloween sow for 2018. I actually started this for my birthday that year. All DMC, called for fabric, called for floss, everything. Um, I love it. It's fun. Um, I am at, um, I'm doing the, the separation right here. Oops. The separation right here um, for going into the third floor, the third level. And um, here is where... I am. I still have to go back and do a lot of the back stitch. Um, I got the back stitch mostly done, all done here in the tombstone and the um, pumpkins at the bottom, and some of the back stitch in the first floor. But there's still some I have to go back and do, and um, I have to get all the back stitch done in um, the second level. And as I said, this is on Picture This Plus Haunted, 28 count. Uh, this was the second um, large piece that I had done on Even Weave and um, 28 count. And uh, I, I enjoy it. I love it. And uh, so that's it. That is the, um, that is my whip parade for 2020. Hold on, I need a drink. Ugh. So, what's going to happen? Well, you won't see these like this again until my end of the year wrap-up video. I'm planning to do one of those probably early, mid-December because I would like to do a... Oh, excuse me. My back. This is we're gonna be done soon because my back needs needs my recliner like an hour ago. And um, my my hope is I'd like to do a, a plans video for 2021. Um, I'm sorry if it doesn't look like I'm looking at you because I'm looking at me <laughs> in the movie maker. 
so um, hopefully some of these you will see in the wrap-up video at the end of the year as finishes. I would love, love to have that happen. And some of them will will be finishes at the end of the year in that video. Um, because I'm going to be adding quite a lot of new starts this year. Um, and it's also the year of BAPS for me. And not counting the full coverage, I've only got maybe one or two full coverages planned this year, if that. I know one is a definite because it was a gift and um, I have to do it because it looks like what my Bella looked like as a kitten. So the chart is uh, nicknamed Baby Bella. Um, that will be a start at some point this year. I don't know when. But the other things that I have planned this year are not full coverage. And while I'm still going to be doing my full coverages and loving them and enjoying them, I'm not going to be doing as many new starts on the full coverages as I have been doing for a couple of reasons. One, I would like to get some of these much more progress in them before I start anymore. And two, I'm, I'm leaning towards a lot of stuff now that is not full coverage. Um, case in point, the Songbird series, I would love to do every one of them. They are gorgeous and they are so much fun to stitch. And that one will be finished very shortly. And um, I've already got number two picked out, which is actually chart one, uh, Forever and Ever the uh, male and female cardinal. If you check out uh, Sammy J Stitches, she's one of the boss ladies for virtual stitchers. She's doing Forever and Ever and it's gorgeous. And Jessie Marie had done Forever and Ever last year and absolutely beautiful. So I'm that's, that's going to be the next one that I do. But getting back to the year of BAPS, this is, it is for me anyway, it is the year of BAPS. Um, I have five, maybe six so far planned, and that's probably going to change with market. Oh my God, market. I said this on Thursday. People, this year, market is insane. The stuff that they are coming out with is bonkers and beautiful and I picked out yesterday, I caved, and um, I won't be getting it right away, but it's not an exclusive, so I don't have to worry about jumping on it right now. But I picked out my first large Hands Across the Sea chart to do. Um, I can't call it my first because uh, the Jane Marshall charity chart for the Australian Relief, that will be my first. Um, so it's going to be my first large one. And this one is big. We're in the like low 300 stitch counts one way. Um, I've already discussed with the lovely Laura Reed of Hand Dyed by the Slovak Farm, who is going to be dyeing me a beautiful piece of parchment-y kind of fabric for it. Uh, I'm not going to say the name of it right now because I kind of want to do that when I get the book because it's a book in the mail and I'm hoping to order that probably May. I'd like to at least get the chart the book ordered in May. So I know it's here, I know it's in my house, and I know I have it. Um, I was talking yesterday about that might be my new year new start, but honestly, once the book is here and then the fabric is here, it only takes 14 colors of DMC. So if I get 
the DMC before I even get the fabric. Once that fabric comes, I don't think I'm going to be able to wait until having it my New Year news start for 2021. It's that gorgeous. And it does not have any specialty stitches in it whatsoever. It is all full cross. All full cross. Two over two. No one over one. We'll get there eventually. Um, but it's just gorgeous. So it was a sign. I, I love Hands Across the Sea. I love watching Nicholas videos. I love watching people stitch them. But the specialty stitches do. They, they, they do scare me. And um, when I looked at this yesterday and I found out that there were no specialty stitches in it, um, yeah, it, uh, it was like, it was a sign. I have to get my hair cut, so it needs to go back. Um, but yeah, it was a sign this is going to be your first, you're going to be able to do a hands across the sea and this is your first one. So that was, that's going to be my first, I think my first market purchase is going to be that. Um, that is a bath. Hawk Run Hollow, Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow is a bath. Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow is a bath. The one that I have picked out for my birthday, um, Sal from Virtual Stitchers, is a bath and I have a feeling there's going to be quite more modern folk embroidery that is that is my big start for March and it's also I'm sort of going out of my comfort zone a little bit instead of 28 count it's going to be 32 count platinum Lugana that I'm gonna do it on and um, You'll learn more about the floss that I'm going to be using it on because I get to order that on Friday, the 28th. And when it all comes in, I hope it comes in before I do my next video. I don't think it's going to. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be able to wait until the third video to show everything. So you'll have to see it like with Hawk Run Hollow. You'll just have to see it on a Q-Snap. Because as soon as it comes in... I'm going to start it because I've been waiting since January when they showed the picture of this to start it and people have already done it and it's gorgeous. And there's also the one in some threads, uh, friends and family Quaker, I believe it's called, uh, their free sell, um, that I'm also starting next month as well. So yeah, we're looking at, um, quite a year for starting things and it's basically virtual stitchers made me do it because all these sales pop are popping up this year in virtual stitchers sammy and and the admins lisa and and everybody are have put together a lot of fun stuff a lot of fun events a lot of fun things to do um uh i think there's a um like you spotlight they'll pick an artist um, like ink circles, long dog, um, things like that. And you, you stitch on something that's by that designer, showcase that designer. A lot of fun things are happening. And because of that, this is happening. And BAPs are happening. Um, Game of Swans. I'll be starting my first long dog sampler this year. Game of Swans. There we go. That's not quite a BAP because that will be done on 32 counts. So we'll just call that a junior BAP. Um, he's, he's not going to be in half, half a yard of fabric. <laughs> like uh, a lot of the other ones are going to be in this year. But uh, it's going to be a fun year. I'm looking forward to it for a multitude of reasons. Um, I'm stepping out of comfort zones. This is the biggest jump out of my comfort zone right here um stitching on different fabric counts um, going more with even weave lugana i've tried linen while it is gorgeous 
and stitching is amazing. I'm not a linen fan. I'm not. Um, I've tried it. So I can't say I don't like it because I haven't tried it. So I've tried it. Um, I just prefer to stick with Ada or um, the Lugana. Even weave is, is just, it's much more, for my sanity, a lot better. Just happy me. That's what it has to be. Happy me. Um, so I wanted to thank everybody again for liking and subscribing to my first video. Um, I'll talk more about that when I do the next full philosophy, but I will just say I'm blown away by the comments, the subscribers that I have. I'm not in this for the subscribers. I'm not in this for anything other than sharing a bit of myself with all of you because all of you on Flosstube are so generous to share a bit of yourself with me and with everybody else in this community. I figured why not jump and share a bit of myself with all of you because you're all rock stars. Amazing. So I just wanted to give before my next video, I at least wanted to give just a great big shout out and thank you to everyone that has commented and subscribed and said how much they liked the video. And it, it makes me feel like, okay, I can do this. Um, it's, you know, people want to see it and people like it. So yeah, I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. I never expected it. I'm not in it for it. Um, again, this is where the honesty comes in. I'm not in it for subscribers. I'm not in it for sponsors. I'm not in it for all the other stuff that happens with YouTube things. Uh, not just Floss Tube, but all kinds of YouTube things. And I'm not in it for that. I'm in it for this. I'm in it for the mess that I have around me right now that I have to put away of all my stitching and all the friendships that I have made and the welcome, the way that everybody is welcoming between virtual stitchers and the floss tube community and the Facebook groups. It's just, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful community to belong to. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. And uh, so thank you very, very much. And until I see you for floss tube number two, bye-bye and happy, happy stitching. Bye.